How to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox Install VirtualBox The link is in the description Open VirtualBox Then create a new virtual machine Call it what you want Use a roll-down menu to make it a Windows operating system and the version window 95 don't make the RAM more than 512 megabytes. Create a new virtual hard drive. Make it VDI and dynamically allocated. Make it whatever size you want under 30 to give those bytes. Finally, create the virtual machine. Go to Settings. Storage. Then choose MS-DOS install disk. Click OK, then start the virtual machine. Now install MS-DOS 6.22. I have done this in a recent video, so I will speed this up. The link will be in the YouTube card and in the video description. Once rebooted, install drivers for the CD from drive. I have a link to a virtual floppy disk I created for this in the description. When inserted, Type a colon into the DOS, then type setup. Now reset the virtual machine by going to Machine, Reset, then clicking the Reset button on the confirmation dialog. Woods. I forgot to take out the floppy. Make sure to do that before resetting the virtual machine. You should now be able to use the D drive as your CD ROM. Insert the Windows 95 CD from into the drive. Type in setup into the prompt, then hit enter twice. It should run SCADISC, then put you into an interface where you can use the mouse. Click continue, then wait a bit as setup prepares. Accept the license terms. Click next a couple of times. Wait as Windows Setup prepares the Windows folder and checks for a valuable disk space. Choose whatever you want here I chose for a typical setup then click next. Enter the product key shown on the website I sent you to to download Windows 95. Now enter your name. The company is optional. Click Next. Windows 95 Setup will now look at your computer hardware to see what you have. I sped this part up as it takes forever and it doesn't help as I am running Windows 10 in a virtual machine too.
Now Windows will start copying files. Here I am copying a file for the next part. You will see what it is here in a little bit. On most modern computers, Windows 95 will boot into a protection error. It didn't for me because this is a VM within a VM, but it will for you. The way to fix this is to install a program to fix the problem. The program is by Lone Crusader. The link is in the description. Shut down the VM, then go into the settings and insert the CD. Press any key, press the end key, then wait for the program to copy the files. Reset the VM when done. When you see the virtual box screen, hit F12, eject the disk, then press the one key to boot. Go up to boot into normal mode, then put in the Windows 95 CD. Wait a bit and set up sets of plump and plate devices. Press OK to configure computer and work group names on the network. Make the computer name whatever you want without spaces. The work group has work group in all caps. And the description whatever you want. Now wait and set up copies files, sets of the control panel, programs on the start menu, Windows help. MS DOS program settings, the time zone, and cancel printer setup. This part is sped up. Press OK to restart the computer. Take out the Windows 95 CD. Wait a while as the first boot is always the longest. Type any username to create a user account. You don't need a password if you don't want one. Now you have Windows 95 in all its Internet Explorer goodness. If you want more screen real estate, right click on the desktop and click Properties. Go to the Settings tab. Go to Advanced Properties and change the display adapter to Super VGA. Insert the Windows 95 CD. Apply settings, then click OK. Now use the slider to change the resolution from 640 by 480 to 800 by 600. You do not have to specify a monitor. Now reboot. Thanks for watching.